yard work makes Cecil Hamilton happy because until very recently, this was impossible. My legs hurt all the time. I was constantly out of breath. Hamilton had diastolic heart failure, or DHF. The pumping chamber of his heart was stiff. You can imagine it as the heart becomes more of a copper pipe than a water balloon. Hamilton was hospitalized regularly for years, but a visit from the oldest of his eight grandchildren strengthened his resolve to get healthy. She was scared to death. I said, then I've got to do something. I don't know what, but something. I don't want to see that look in my granddaughter's eyes again. That something the, uh, was this. Hamilton's doctors asked him to take part in a randomized trial of a new device. In some patients, doctors threaded a catheter through the leg into the heart to create a small path between the upper chambers. Then doctors implanted the dime-sized device called an interatrial shunt. And that valve allows the blood to go from the left side to the right side, uh, presumptively reduces the amount of congestion in the lungs. While Hamilton didn't know for sure that he received the device, he could breathe better as soon as he woke up. Three, four days afterwards, I knew that I had it because I could tell a difference. He's now back to driving a bus for Ohio State sports teams, bowling with his grandchildren. I love being with my grandkids. And getting his yard ready for another spring season. I'm Marty Salt reporting.